Hi everyone and welcome back. So before going to the advanced concepts of Svelte GS, I wanted to cover a couple of more examples and then we will talk about uh, advanced examples about Svelte GS that covers the routing and using stores and all those things. So what in this example we are going to do is let's play with the simple example and here we are going to write a simple Pokemon store, Pokemon search you can say. Okay, so this is our script and we are going to write a simple form where we will have a simple input text field using which we want to just search uh, uh, Pokemon. Okay, so it's kind of a input submit form. We can have some classes. We are already using Tailwind. So I can use some classes there. Writing for and this is actually a form so it will have a on submit and on the on submit we are going to make an api call because on on submit we are going to search for the pokemon which you have entered inside a form and here we are going to just make an api call for that we have the url okay so inside the form we have simply deuce we have a label input text field and one button so this label has a class we can add the tailwind classes later text excel and this is like enter name of pokemon and then we have input simple input text field and we can add some classes tailwind classes which is okay background should be grey 100 there we need a border border should be grey and what should be the text color so all these classes you can add text should be grey 900 text should be small it should be rounded okay these many class I mean you can add a number of classes these tailwind is a utility that can help you to add uh, classes okay and then you have a simple button you can close this uh, or we can simply have one button there we can just talk about submit so this is input simple button which has its classes and it is just a simple search button okay and this input text field has a bind okay let me just put a line break with search term because whatever you are going to type you should be able to capture it so we can actually bind this with one variable search term is an empty and from this api call we are going to pass the data and then we have other attributes also is loading like uh, whenever there is a loading we wanted to show some kind of a simple animation onto the button is loading is initially false now we are going to make api call and we will say okay once the api call starts we want to start loading and we can just set the length with width full this button also we can say width full so you can see if you are not using flex properly things will go wrong so here we need to use uh, that is fine that is just a warning and now whatever the you are entering we are able to capture that inside a search term now what we need to do is we need to make an api call so we can simply do it with the fetch whatever we are going to make the api call and we can just set is loading false if there is any error and we will just set is error initially we have the pokemon data null then we will set is loading true whenever there is an api call is going on just a simple calculation is loading is now true and we will just make the api call const result equal to await fetch we can make it as a sync function await fetch and there is an api call we already have a url in our hand and we need to pass the search term for which we are looking const data await response.json 
and we finally get the data and we can set pokemon with this data and is loading is now false okay so now when you are entering anything inside this text field and do this form submit it is going to make the api call here we can also add uh, prevent default i mean these are dom event modifiers which you can add to avoid uh, page reload while you submit the form okay so now you enter the pokemon click on search we make the api call and this is the api url this search term we are already tracking and this pokemon object we are assigning now we just need to play with the uh, conditionals okay if uh, we got the pokemon then show this if pokemon is uh, null then show that if there is a loading then show this so we can just use these conditionals which is provided let's say if is loading then you can simply show simply show uh, some kind of a text like okay if you got any error then show that and if you got everything good then we will uh, render the pokemon image if there is an error then that means pokemon does not found we can simply say not able to find pokemon search with other name or whatever you want so is error is already a flag we have we also need to add it here currently there is no error but there may be error so initially this error is false but his error will be true if your api call is going into the catch block okay now we can design a simple card like layout because we might be receiving the image of uh, the pokemon and the text about it so here we can just add another conditional let's say if pokemon that means we got the if we got the pokemon object then we will just show it so for that uh, we can just use the card component and here i mean when we are writing tailwind there are a lot of classes we need to add that somewhat i don't like but <laughs> there is no way with full padding vertical full let's say background we can say white and this is rounded shadow also by 20 inside this we can create a simple card card like component i will just copy the the tailwind template which is a flex layout so here we will replace the the image which we are getting so we are getting the image and then pokemon name here we can just add the pokemon name this is just like okay access it from the object very basic example we may or may not need this you can also add, extract the pokemon description and try to show it here now let's say i'm doing it for pikachu okay somewhat it is coming we can make it little better so what we are doing is i think the background is not getting set properly okay this is how it is working because it is making api call and then we are just playing with these conditions which is very basic if we talk about any other framework this is also the same way we will do we will do it we will update the state and then for the updated state they will re-render so here this is being done in a different reactivity in different way of reactivity but it's kind of simple concept is kind of simple and same same okay same way we can also talk about couple of more examples to understand the course syntax and then we will just go with the routing understanding the the store and some more advanced stuff in swell.js